today we're going to target some king salmon or three pin salmon. Uh, we're going to do that on live bait, so we'll show you how to rig them up and uh, hopefully get a few salmon and show you how to get um, baits for kingies and as well as what to look for uh, when you're targeting them. Uh, here's a couple of little uh, marks that you can see in the mud here. They're fresh king marks where they punch their nose in the, into the mud and feed on like your crabs and your prawns and little uh, crustaceans like that. So, um, so we're going to get uh, on the water and uh, we'll see if we can get a few king. to look out for when you're cast netting as well is like flats like this mud flats like this that are covered at high tide at low tide they're all yabby beds and they produce uh, a lot of marks in the mud to show you what have been here on the high tide so they're good to get out and have a look around and see what's been feeding that area so when you come back on the high this is where you should be fishing for that you know species that you're chasing uh, if you have a look here there's heaps of yabby beds and like flathead lies so that's an old lie there but it just shows you all these flathead are sitting here as that tide comes off the flats, they're sitting there waiting to um, ambush little baits and mullets, uh, prawn, etc. Even up on top of the mud here, you can see like divots in the mud from grunter, trevally species, blue salmon, king salmon, um, punch marks. So this is all just showing you that something's been feeding on the, these yabby beds on the high tide, so it's a good spot to be. Another flatty lie there, and a smaller fella over here. It's all sitting on top of the yabby beds, perfect. Um, for fishing area for chasing flatties, uh, salmon grunter, even big big whiting. You'll see little divots in the mud in the mud like this. They can be from whiting brim. So just a perfect area to fish on the couple hours to the top of the tide. Yabby beds here on this bank, but this is a spot I probably would not fish. Um, only reason being, you see all these big holes like that, they're stingray lays. So this bank is full of them. So if you want to catch stingrays, go for it. But uh, I wouldn't fish this bank on uh, on the tides yet. Uh, good for low tide, getting plenty of yabbies though. So uh, all these little yabby holes, and in the holes you can see like little dent marks from whiting, brim, and flathead. They'll be here, but uh, you'll have to put up with a few stingray as a bycatch, unfortunately. At low tide, you see little pockets of water like this. They're little domes. It's hazy. It can be very clear. Even though it's clear, you won't a lot of times see the fish. They'll sit low because the temperature of the water is really hot, but it's cooler on the bottom, so they'll sit on the bottom. So a lot of times you won't see them. So just casting them, and you'll, get, you'll be surprised what you get out of them. like this are perfect for your live bait if you're lazy if you've got a lazy 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 live bait man holding the bucket perfect
still. So these are all kingy marks. See the pop marks in the mud where they slam their nose in and chase a prawns, crabs. So that just shows that these fish have been feeding here on the high tide. So um, good spot to fish on the high tide. Works on vibes even, plastics. Um, you'll find a lot of these kingies now, they'll be sitting in holes with a big hole behind us. Some really good tree structure. You'll find barramundi, mango jack sitting in those, but the kingie will be sitting around here. Just got to find them and um, whack them with a few vibes, soft plastics, small plastics. And um, yeah, hope you get a few fish. Look at the bank here, it's full of king salmon marks, like hundreds of marks punched up in the, in the mud. So they've been feeding here on the top of the tide. They're fresh too, fresh marks. And uh, what the kingies do, they tend to punch into the mud, get the whiskers out, chase the prawn, chase the crabs, any little crustacean that are in there, that's why they're feeding up on here. This big slide here is just a, about a, probably a metre and a half crocodile just slid into the water. So he's sitting up here basking in the sun. So you, they're the things you've got to watch out for when you're up here as well. Um, don't be going swimming in the water up here or uh, dangling your feet over the edge, take care. So um, yeah. Big crocodile. Oh, big snake. Might get might even get some prawn up here. Far enough, Rob? Yeah, perfect. It's a big tree, I've got a big tree. Oh look at the mullet, holy big brim. Oh, what was that? Oh glad that was a brim, holy. I'd be in a lot of trouble. And this is bycatch. So while you're chasing baits, good baits like these mullet, there's heaps of bait up in the creek at the moment. So the f you should see plenty of fish life, like your kingies, barra. There's so much bait in the creek, it's crazy. We've been driving for about 150 meters and there's just acres and acres of mullet, gar. It's ridiculous. These little, just make sure that, you know, whenever you throw the cast net, get your little, um, Fish back out in net straight away, these little like little grunter, brim, even these glassies, get them back out. Um, they all serve a purpose in our waterways. Even these beautiful little toadfish. <laughs> Look at the mullet. Okay. Holy. Lucky there's no bait in the creek. Cool Yorkie herring or anchovy herring, fantastic king salmon bait. Love them. Doesn't have to be live, just hook through the eye, back through the body. Perfect king salmon bait. Even these little things we call glasses. Like you get, um, I normally put two or three of those on a hook and barrel smack them, eat them all day, every day. But um, yeah, awesome. Now, I don't know if you can see, but see the different change of water, like a V pattern in the water? That's bait moving towards us, like heaps of mullet. So this place is alive with bait at the moment. Tides are starting to kick in. Um, there's plenty of mullet around here, so the fish should go on the chew. Zoom in there. Now this is a big salty. Here's a big croc here. There's his claws there. Massive claws. That's my hand to his claws.